Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to my vlog. It's official, it is season 4. Season 4 of my vlogs is starting today. Reason why it's starting today? Because it's a new day and if it's a new day then new things must be happening and if new things are happening then my social media family needs to know about it. So season 4 is here live and direct and kicking. It's on and cracking. And today, um, I'm just going to more or less chronicle the recording of the Brown and Bubblers album, a project that I've undertaken with my good brethren, Carton Bubblers Ogilvy. This is going to be an album that's going to be more or less easy for me to do because this time around, all I need to do is record my vocals. Record my vocals, EQ my vocals, balance up my vocals, bounce my vocals, and then send them off to Bubblers, and then he can mix them on his side that's all I need to do whereas me and Bubblers separately doing separate projects all we do is basically record and do overdubs and produce we do everything in our respective studios but this time around I'm just doing my vocals and I'm sending them to Bubblers and whatever overdubs I'm recording here with Patrick trumpeter I'll send them to him as well so that is basically what is happening now um, I've been a busy boy. It's not like I've just started the project today. I have started the project from, um, what we're in now? We're in May now. I've more or less started the project from like around February and it's a 10 track album project. And I have written and recorded one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So I have done eight tracks um, of the project. One of the tracks in that project is, has actually gone over into my um, vocalist Digital Deluxe album. And that project, that track was To You with Shardell Rodham. So I, just, I decided, I made the executive decision to move the track from that project to the vocalist Digital Deluxe edition. So in essence, I've done seven out of 10. I've done eight, but seven I've done for this album, the Brown and Bubblers album. And I want to start off first by um, presenting a demo of a track, which is called Make Your Clothes Far. Now, from that title, you probably know what the song is about, right? But the song is in homage, is paying homage to an artist who is no longer with us and her name is Deborah Glasgow now the thing with Deborah Glasgow is that since Papa Levi had the chart success with Magad McKing and had simultaneous number ones in the UK and in Jamaica there hadn't been an, another artist to make any headway in terms of surpassing that um, I think up to this day there haven't been, but there's been one artist that has made such an impression musically in Jamaica and stateside as well that has paved the way. She paved the way before me, before Don Campbell, before Bitty McLean, before Gappy Ranks, right? She paved the way because she was recording with people like Gussie Clark, right? which was one of my all-time, all-time favorite producers. Now I talk about professional jealousy in, in some of my videos, but when she had the hits with um, Night in Shining Armor, which she recorded for UK Bubblers, which is a subsidiary of Greensleeves, even before then, she just had that tone of voice, which is just fit for radio fit for recording, fit for CDs, fit for vinyl. She just had that voice. You are my knight in shining armor, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Absolutely loved her voice, loved her voice. But when she started recording with Gussie Clark and started teaming up with people like Shabba Ranks and Beris Hammond, at that point, she was well on her way well on her way, 
well on her way. Her self-titled debut album was one of the most successful albums from a UK artist at that time. And it was around, I think it was around the time when I recorded Stress, or even, before, or even that must have been way after. But I remembered my meeting with Deborah, because I didn't know her very well. But my meeting with Deborah, I'll never forget it. I think I met her in a studio, and I think Toyin was there as well, I'm not sure. And the first thing she said to me, Mr. Brown, Stress, effing good tune, that is our effing good tune. <laughs> We got to do a collaboration, we got to do something, we got to do something. She was really, really excited. And I said, yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to. With that same expression on my face I got now, I'd love to. But sadly, sadly, cancer took her life. Much missed, much missed talent. And um, champion lover will forever be an anthem that whenever it's played it will be regarded as such because to have such a hit with Shabba ranks at that time when Shabba would just when Shabba was bussing right that was a vehicle for her to go into bigger and greater things but sadly sadly she she didn't realize her full potential anyway fast forward to today or fast forward to the time Bubblers gave me this rhythm. And he gave me this rhythm alongside three others like years ago. This rhythm I'm about to play, or this track I'm about to play, is years, years, years old. And when I heard the track and just listened to the track, it just reminded me of an offshoot of Champion Lover. It just had that Champion Lover vibe about it. You know what I mean? The Gussie Clark production kind of vibe and I wanted to emulate that by writing a song in a champion lover-esque kind of style so make your clothes fall was a result of that so here's the demo of make your clothes fall which I'm gonna play for you and it goes a little something 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 like this Like you wanna do me something, girl Who's gonna blink first? Drive under the pressure, girl Tonight, tonight, girl It will be my pleasure, girl, yeah My pleasure, girl, yeah Drop your say you the champion lover, girl Beg to differ Don't underestimate me, girl Me now rap I play with you tonight Oh, 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 oh Make your clothes them fast Baby, when I hold you tonight And that's all you're going to get. You're going to get no more than that. The tune's called Make Your Clothes Fall. Paying homage to the late, late, great Deborah Glasgow. And what else can I say? Looking for the album to come out around October. Provisionally October. But this is the start of season four of my vlogs. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, you don't know the coup. People, please abstain from foolishness. And until I catch you on the next episode in my vlog series, people stay blessed. Have a blessed day. My God.